Hello guys, look at this. Guess what? I generated this film using AI, right? So I use AI text to film generator. All I need to do is to type in what I want and then click generate and in less than a couple minutes AI is going to automatically generate me these cool films. Look at this. Very cool, right? If you're interested, enroll in the course guys. You're going to learn a lot. Hello guys, welcome to my course. Welcome to Automate Filmmaking, AI Text to Film and Storyboard Generation. Here in this course, you will be amazed by how far artificial intelligence has advanced nowadays. If I told you last year that you can generate a film and a storyboard from just a single text prompt, most likely you won't believe that technology actually exists. However, what if I told you that today, you actually can utilize AI to generate a film and storyboard with just a single AI prompt describing what you want and in a couple seconds, AI can generate the film that you want. That's exactly what you're going to learn here in this course. There will be four main projects. The first one is to use AI text to film generator like Vice, MovieBot, and InVideo. You're going to use those tools to generate a complete film. The second project is to generate a film script using Nolan AI. And the third project is to create a storyboard using AI tools like Croc.io and Storyboard Dead. Meanwhile, in the fourth project, you're going to create 3D animation film using Deep Motion. In the introduction session, you will learn basic fundamentals of AI text to film generator, such as getting to know its use cases, capabilities, and limitations that you should be aware of. Then continued by learning about storyboarding, especially understanding how it plays an essential role in filmmaking process. Afterward, you will enter the first project where you will be guided step by step on how to create a film using AI text to film generator tools. Then followed by the second project where you will learn how to generate a complete film script using Nolan AI. Once we are done with the filmmaking, we will move on to the third project where you will learn step by step on how to generate a storyboard using AI tools like Croc.io and the project session will be ended with deep motion tutorial where you will get to experiment with a lot of 3D avatars and objects to create your own animation videos. Lastly, at the end of the course, you will also learn how to monetize your film content through several business models such as subscription model, ad revenue and royalty fees. First of all, before getting into the course, we need to ask ourselves this question. Why should we learn to create films and storyboard using AI? Well, there are many answers to that question. Firstly, utilizing AI technology will enable you to automate and speed up your film production process. Can you imagine how long it will take you if you need to record and edit your film manually? It might take a couple weeks or even a couple months, right? What if I told you that actually you can speed up the process significantly by utilizing AI text to film generators? Not only that, if we are talking from the cost perspective, can you imagine how much budget that you need to spend to hire film editors, animators, scriptwriters? Well, it will be a lot of money, right? Well, the good news here is you'll be able to save up most of your budget since you will outsource vast majority of all your work to artificial intelligence. Other than those two benefits, utilizing AI will also enable you to concentrate on things that are actually more relevant, such as finding new innovations for your next film and implementing the effective promotion strategies to reach as many people as possible. Well, we've gone this far, but I almost forgot to introduce myself. Hi guys, my name is Chris and I've been creating more than 55 courses on Udemy. Previously, I worked as an IT consultant for the last couple of years before deciding to resign from my job and start running several online businesses like dropshipping, affiliate marketing, and selling digital products, including selling online course on Udemy. Regarding filmmaking, even though I don't have any professional experience in that field, I've been involved in several 3D and animation filmmaking projects in the past. To be honest with you, I've always been so passionate about filmmaking which makes me wonder if AI can actually help us to automate the process and the answer is yes. Therefore, my intention behind creating this course is simply to teach and help people, especially those who have interest and passion in filmmaking to integrate AI to their filmmaking process as it will give them a lot of benefits. Okay, so that was brief introductions about myself. Once again, welcome to the course. I'm so excited to have you here. I'm so glad to have you here and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Hello guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we are going to get to know more about things that we're going to learn in this course. So in this table of content, I'm going to explain things that you're going to do, things that you're going to learn in each chapter. And as you guys can see here, in total, we have 12 chapters in this course. So hopefully by the end of this video, you're going to have a better understanding about things that you can expect to learn from each chapter. Okay, so let's begin with the first one here, whom this course is intended for. So in the first chapter, we're going to answer this particular question. I'm going to explain my intention behind creating this course, and I'm also going to explain who are my main target students for this course. And obviously, if you're interested in filmmaking, if you're interested in integrating artificial intelligence to your filmmaking uh, process, then this is definitely the right course for you, because that's exactly what you're going to learn, right? You're going to learn how to convert a text into a film automatically using AI. That's amazing, right? You can just type in whatever you want and then click generate and in less than a couple seconds, AI is going to generate you the film that you want. So that's very cool. Okay, so we're going to talk more about that in the first chapter. Let's move on to the second chapter, AI tools and resources. All right, so in the second chapter, I'm going to introduce you to all AI tools that we're going to utilize in our project. So we're going to talk about three AI text to film generators like Foyus MovieBot and InVideo. We're also going to talk about Storyboard Dead and Crop.io. Those are two tools that we're going to uh, use to create the storyboard. We're going to talk about Nolan AI. We're going to use that tool to generate us a film script. And we're also going to talk about Deep Motions, right? We're going to use that tool to generate us a 3D animations films. Okay, so those are six or seven tools that we're going to use and don't worry guys all of those tools are completely free all right so we're, we're not going to spend money on these tools those are completely free okay so let's move on to the next chapter chapter three introductions to ai text to film generator so i think this concept this technology is very new right so i'm pretty sure like vast majority of you guys are not really familiar with this technology so make sure that you stay in chapter 3 and pay very close attention because you're going to learn a lot okay so we're going to talk about um the main use cases uh, capabilities and limitations of ai text to film generators that you should be aware of right especially considering that ai text to film generator technology is relatively new this technology is still in its early development states, which means that this technology is still far from perfect, guys. So obviously, you cannot expect to generate a high-quality film like Hollywood, right? Just to be realistic here. Okay, so that's chapter 3. And let's move on to the next one here, chapter 4, film ideas to make. I totally get it. Lots of you might be very excited with this technology, right? You want to create your first film using this AI text-to-film generator, but maybe you don't have any idea what film to make, right? So in chapter four, I'm going to give you several different uh, film ideas that you might want to consider, like science fiction, adventure, historical reenactment, time travel, alien encounter, educations, or even mystery films, right? So yeah, we're going to talk about uh, those film ideas, right? Let's move on to the next chapter, chapter five, all right? Automating filmmaking with voice. Okay, so chapter five, chapter six, and chapter seven, these three chapters or the first project all right so i'm going to guide you step by step on how to generate a complete film using this ai text to film generator so the first tool that we're going to use is voice the second one is movie vault and the third one is end video and for movie vault you will not be able to access this um tool from your computer right from your laptop you will need your phone so for chapter six, we're going to move on to my phone. So we're going to download the applications through App Store. And I'm going to show you the full step-by-step -step tutorials on how to generate a film using MovieBot uh, from my phone, right? But that's the only exceptions. And the rest of other tools, we're going to use a computer, right? Okay, so let's move on to the next one here, chapter 8, because we already talked about chapter 5, 6, and 7. Let's move on to uh, chapter 8, writing film script with Nolan AI. So this is like the second project. So I'm going to guide you step by step on how to generate a film script using Nolan AI, right? So you don't need to write your film script manually. 
instead just type in what you want right just tell ai um what films that you want tell the ai what genre that you want and in less than a couple of seconds ai is going to generate you the full film script right that sounds very cool right you're going to be able to save a lot of time and also money right because sometimes if you need to hire a film script writer i mean it's going to cost a lot right and the good news here is you'll be able to outsource that work to Nolan AI. Okay, so let's move on to the next chapter, chapter nine, creating storyboard with AI. So this is like the third project. We're going to utilize two tools. Uh, the first one is Croc.io and the second one is storyboard that. So we're going to just type in um, what storyboard that we want and then click generate. And in less than a minute, in less than a couple seconds, AI is going to generate you the storyboard that you want, right? That sounds very cool. Okay, so let's move on to the next one here, chapter 10. Um, this is project four, uh, which is the last project, right? So we're going to create 3D animations film using deep motions, all right? Deep motions is one of the newest technology that enables you to do a lot of experiments with 3D avatars, 3D objects, 3D characters, and then you can animate like those 3D objects, those 3D characters, which is very cool, right? So yeah, I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so that's chapter 10. Let's move on to the next one here, chapter 11, monetizing content. So in this chapter, I'm going to teach you how to potentially monetize your film contents, right? There are several business models like ad revenue from YouTube, uh, membership platforms or you know subscriptions model um, maybe crowdfunding licensing distributions where you will get your royalty fees and maybe even educational licensing right especially if you're interested in uh, creating educational videos or educational films okay so that's chapter 11 we're going to learn how to monetize your content let's move on to the next one here chapter 12 which is the last chapter conclusion and summary so here in this chapter, I'm going to summarize all things that we learned in this course and I'm also going to share a few tips and tricks on how to take all these um, skills and knowledge about AI text to film generation to next level, right? Maybe you want to create your own film, maybe you want to start your own film agency or maybe you want to level up your content creations, right? So yeah, um, those are things that we're going to learn in this course. So hopefully you get excited. And I think that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. Hello guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to answer this particular question, whom this course is intended for. So based on my analysis, there are three types of people who might be interested in this course. And those three types of people are also my main target students for this course. So let's talk about the first one here, aspiring filmmakers. Both aspiring and experienced filmmakers looking to incorporate AI technologies into their projects and improve their storyboarding skills. So if you're one of those people, this is definitely the right course for you guys. Because guess what? Here in this course, you're going to learn how to automate and speed up your filmmaking process using AI technologies, right? So we're going to learn how to use AI text to film generators where you can just type in any film topics that you want, any generate that you want, and then click generate and in less than a couple seconds, AI is going to generate you a complete film. That's very cool, right? Not only that, you're also going to learn how to generate a storyboard using AI too. So you're going to learn a lot of things, right? And you're going to get two benefits from utilizing all these AI technologies. The first one here is you're going to save a lot of time, right? So you're going to speed up the process very significantly when you use AI. Like, can you imagine how long it will take you if you need to do everything manually, if you need to do the editing manually, if you need to write your script manually? Well, it's going to take you maybe a couple of weeks or months, right? However, using AI, you're going to be able to like speed up the process. And the second benefit is you're going to save a lot of money, right? since you're going to outsource vast majority of your works to ai technologies so can you imagine guys like how much money that you will need to spend how much budget that you will need to prepare if you need to hire a costly 
film animators, film editors, and film script writers, right? It's going to be a lot of money. Okay, so those are two main benefits that you're going to get. Okay, so let's move on to the second one here, content creators, including myself, right? I consider myself to be a content creator. I make videos on YouTube, I make videos on TikTok, and also I make online courses. Okay, so uh, YouTubers, uh, vloggers, and online content creators looking to enhance the quality of their videos with AI-driven filmmaking techniques and better storyboarding so if you're one of those people this is also the right course for you because guess what guys using ai technologies to generate your film or maybe your storyboard is going to level up your content creations right maybe your audience are bored with your regular content why don't you give them a new form of content right why don't you give them a new type of videos that they have never seen before so that's going to be a great idea to incorporate uh, your contents your regular contents uh, with ai generated film right so yeah in this course you're going to learn how to level up your content creations utilizing ai to its fullest extent okay so let's move on to the next one here educators right so let's say you were a high school teacher or maybe elementary school teachers or maybe middle school teachers and you're interested in integrating AI and innovative filmmaking techniques into your curriculum. If you're one of those people, guys, this is also the right course for you. Because guess what? When you integrate this AI technology, when you use this AI text to film generator to create your own educational film, this is one of the most brilliant ideas. Because guess what? Not only that you're going to be able to stimulate the excitement of your students to learn, but also you're going to be able to present your lessons, your educational materials in such a creative way, right? Alright guys, so those are three types of people who might be interested in this course. Um, so if you're one of those people, congratulations, you're in the right place. So I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to learn more about all tools and resources that we're going to utilize in this project so i'm going to introduce you to every single tool in the next video i'll see you guys there what's up guys welcome back to the course in this video we're going to get to know more about all ai tools and resources that we're going to utilize in this project as you guys can see in total we have seven different ai tools that we're going to use so let's talk about the first one here all right so the first three tools uh Fais, movie bot and in video these three tools are AI text to film generator, right? So all you need to do is to type in any topic that you want, any generate that you want, and then click generate. And in less than a couple of seconds, AI is going to automatically generate you a full film, all right? So let's click on this link and it will take you here. As you guys can read, create amazing stories, voices, and films with AI. Faiz, the innovative AI platform enables swift and effortless creations of stunning stories, videos, and voices for you and your team. Sounds very exciting, right? So yeah, let's go to products, all right, and then click on films, all right? So there are three main features. The first one is films, the second one is voices, and the third one is stories, all right? But in this course, we are going to specifically use this feature, films. So just click on it. Okay, very cool. As you guys can read here, imagine if AI could create films or videos in seconds. All right, so face the groundbreaking AI platform revolutionize content creations by empowering you and your team to effortlessly generate videos and films at an accelerated pace. Can you imagine like how much time you're able to save if you are utilizing this AI technology, if you're outsourcing your work to this AI technology, guys, you'll be able to speed up your filmmaking process very significantly compared to if you do everything manually, right? If you're uh, doing your film editing manually, if you're doing your animations manually, well, it's going to be very time consuming, right? Okay, so let's scroll down a little bit and there's another uh, good news here, as you guys can read, this platform is completely free. So you're not going to spend money on this platform. Even though there are like some limitations when it comes to this free plan, but again, this is free. Okay, so let's go back to the home page. So just click home. So if you might be wondering like how the process is going to be, well, you might want to read these descriptions to understand better about the step-by-step -step process and how it works. And as you guys can see, besides films, uh, you can also utilize this tool 
uh, to create voices, uh, stories, and even game, right? But unfortunately, um, it's not here yet, so it's still coming soon, right? So you might need to wait. But it's very exciting. You can automate game development process using this AI, right? Sounds very exciting. Okay, so let's move on to the second tool. Uh, it is called MovieBot. So just click on that link and it will take you here to this page. MovieBot is a little bit different because you're not able to open this on your laptop or your computer. So you need to use your phone, right? So it's very easy. There are two options. The first one is to scan this barcode and you're going to be redirected to the downloading page in your app store. Or the second option is just to go to your app store manually, to your play store manually and just type in MovieBot and you're going to see this um, logo or this icon and then just click download, right? So I'm going to show you like the full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to generate a film using this um, AI tool from my phone, right? So yeah. Uh, make sure that you download these applications first, okay? Let's move on to the third tool. Um, it is called in video. So I'm going to click on it. As you guys can see, we are being redirected to this page. As you guys can read, create video with AI Copilot. Think of any topic and in video AI gets to work. Sounds very exciting. So again, the concept is very similar. All you need to do is to type in anything that you want and then click generate and in less than a couple seconds AI is going to automatically generate you the film that you want right so yeah as you guys can read these descriptions it generates your script creates scenes adds voiceovers and tweaks everything at your comment let's create the videos that win over your audience and the good news here is in video is completely free all right as you guys can see in video offers a free options so we're not going to spend money on this platform Okay, so let's go back to our slides. So these are uh, three AI text to film generator tools. Let's move on to the next one here, Storyboard Dead and Crop IO, right? So we are going to utilize these two tools to generate a storyboard and the concept is very similar. All you need to do is to type in the topic of your storyboard and then click generate and then AI is going to generate you a full storyboard in less than a couple seconds, right? Okay, so I'm going to click on this link and it will take me here as you guys can read uh, storyboard that digital storytelling that's kind of like their slogan right so to create the storyboard uh, the process is very easy and very straightforward all you need to do is to click on create a storyboard and then you're going to be redirected to this page this is kind of like the editing page uh, where you need to enter the title for your storyboard and uh, there are lots of customizable templates that you guys can use all right so let's move on to the next one here uh, it is called crop so let's just click on it and it's going to take you to this page as you guys can read creative collaborations and video review software right so if you go to products as you guys can see um we have several different products here so we have project management uh video proving uh online proving audio annotation storyboard creator storyboard ai and animatic right so if you go to use cases, there are like three main use cases for these platforms. Uh, the first one is TV and film. The second one is explainer videos. And the third one is AI storyboard for commercials video. Okay, so let's just go to a product and then click on storyboard AI, right? And it's going to take you here. You might want to read these descriptions just to gain a better understanding about this platform. You might also want to go to product and then click on storyboard creator. Right, and you're going to be taken to this page and then just click start creating, right? Well, you actually need to log in. So yeah, we're going to do it in the next couple of videos. So if you go to pricing here, um, again, it is free. So we're not going to spend money on this platform. That's another good news, right? Okay, so that's uh, Croc IO. Let's move on to the next tool. Um, it is called Nolan AI. So just click on it and it's going to take you to this page. So basically we're going to utilize this tool to write a film script right so we're going to generate a film script using Nolan AI well actually we're not going to write it manually right we're not going to spend time to write the film script manually by hand no we're going to use AI guys so just type in uh, what film that you want what genre what topic and then click generate and in less than maybe a couple of seconds AI is going to generate you the film script that you want so yeah as you guys can read it here uh, free script writing software Unleash creativity with AI Copilot, uh, craft compiling uh, screenplays. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so let's scroll down a little bit. So as you guys can see, these are uh, features that Nolan AI has. You can track every edit, which is very cool. And down here, uh, this is my most favorite. Uh, you can change your character accent. You can even ask Nolan AI for suggestions, right? Very cool. And let's go to pricing. I just want to show you that this platform is completely free. As you guys can see, free, free forever, right? Zero dollars. Okay, so if you go to uh, create script, just click on it. And then you have two options. You can create a feature film or video short, right? So if you want to create film, just uh, go with the first options. Just click on it. And the process is very straightforward. So we're going to learn more about this in the next couple of videos, right? Let's move on to the last tool, which is deep motions. So we're going to use this tool to create a 3D animations video, right? So just uh, click on it. And it's going to take you here to this page. All right, as you guys can read, uh, create 3D animations from video using AI. Analyze your creativity with animated 3D, the leading AI motion capture solutions for digital creators, right? So if you are interested in 3D animations and you want to create a 3D animations film, this is the right software, guys. And it is free, don't worry, right? It looks very cool and you might be wondering like hey is it very expensive well the answer is no it is completely free as you guys can read here okay so let's go back to the home page and if you scroll down a little bit you guys can see like how cool is this look at this right so there are like several different features like face tracking hand tracking and multi-person tracking but unfortunately this uh, feature is not ready yet right still coming soon Okay, so let's scroll down a little bit. Okay, so as you guys can read, 3D animation in minutes. So it looks very cool, right? You can generate this kind of video in just minutes, right? So the process is very easy, very straightforward. Uh, just choose your video and then just choose your character and then that's it, right? Look at this. All of these are AI generated 3D objects, AI generated 3D characters, guys. All right, so I think that's all you need to know. I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to uh, learn about AI text to film generator. We're going to learn like all the basic fundamentals that you need to know. So yeah, I think that's it. I'll see you guys there. Hello guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to this new AI technology, AI text to film generator. I'm going to assume that vast majority of you guys are not really familiar with this technology, including myself guys, I'm not familiar with this technology since this is a brand new technology, right? If I told you like last year, hey, um, you'll be able to generate a film from just a single text, you won't believe that it's going to exist, right? But guess what? It actually exists. So this is a very new technology and obviously it is still in its early development state. so. You cannot expect this technology to be perfect, right? It's still far from perfect, but we're getting there, guys. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is to ask yourself this question, how it actually works. Okay, so it takes one input, right? So the input is going to be like text or descriptions about your ideas and how the film should be. So you're just going to describe like what film that you want, uh, what's going to be the topic, what's going to be the genre, right? Just explain a little bit about what you want, right? And the output is going to be a film or a storyboard. That sounds very exciting, right? All right, so let's move on to the use cases of this AI technology. Okay, so no matter how advanced or no matter how cool this AI technology is, if you don't understand like the use cases of this technology, then it's going to be pointless, right? You need to know like what benefits that you guys can get from this AI technology. Okay, so let's talk about the first one here, film and entertainment. So AI generated film can be used to produce short promotional clip trailers or teasers for movies, uh, TV shows, and web series. This technology can also assist in creating visual effects and animations. And the second one here is e-learning and education. In the field of education, AI text-to-film generators can convert written educational materials into video lessons, making learning more interactive and accessible. This can be especially valuable for online courses and tutorials, right? Maybe you are a high school teacher or you are a middle school teacher or maybe you create online course or whoever you are. Using this technology is going to level up your 
content quality. And the third one here is content marketing. AI text to film generators can be used to create engaging video content for marketing purposes. Marketers can transform blog posts, articles, or product descriptions into visually appealing videos to enhance audience engagements, right? So if you are in digital marketing field and you might be wondering like, hey, is there any way for me to speed up my ad video creation process? Well, you can use this AI tool too, right? You can maybe create a short film about your product and then post it on your social media, post it on your uh, YouTube channel or a TikTok account. And it's, I'm pretty sure it's going to get you a lot of attentions from your potential uh, customers, right? Okay, so let's uh, talk about the capabilities of AI text to film generator. The first one here is time efficiency. So AI text to film generators significantly reduce the time required for film productions. They can swiftly convert text scripts into visual content, automating the labor intensive aspects of the process. These accelerations allows filmmakers to meet tight production schedules and release content more quickly to your audience. So yeah guys, you're able to speed up the filmmaking process very significantly. Let's talk about the next one here, cost efficiency. So AI-driven film generations is cost-effective compared to traditional methods. It eliminates the need for extensive crew, equipment, and physical sets, reducing production's costs. Additionally, AI can efficiently repurpose existing assets and create visual effects, saving money on production's expenses. Okay, so think about this. If you need to hire a lot of editors, animators, or film script writers, well, it's going to... Be a lot of money right it's going to drain your budget so obviously if you use AI you're going to be able to save up a lot of your budget okay so let's move on to the next one here unlimited creativity AI text to film generators bring a unique dimensions of creativity to filmmaking guys they can produce imaginative scenes visuals and special effects that might be challenging to achieve manually AI's ability to explore fast creative possibilities can inspire filmmakers to think outside the box and experiment with unconventional storytelling techniques, right? Okay, so those are three capabilities of AI text-to-film generator. So now let's talk about the limitations. Again, just a quick reminder, this AI technology is still in its early development states, right? So obviously it is not perfect. There are a lot of limitations. Right? You cannot expect to get a very high quality film just like Hollywood by using this technology. That's just not possible and not realistic. Okay, so let's talk about the first limitations here. The first one here is limited duration. So AI text to film generators may struggle to effectively convey complex narratives within limited durations. Due to time constraints, they might oversimplify or omit crucial plot points, resulting in narrative that lack depth and development, right? So you cannot expect to create like an hour or two hours long uh, film. That's just not possible, right? And the second one here is limited storytelling depth. AI-generated films often lack the depth and nuance achieved by human filmmakers. They may have difficulty portraying integrate characters development, complex subplots, or exploring profound themes, limiting their storytelling capabilities, right? So that's the reason why I always emphasize this point. AI is simply just a tool that you guys can use to accomplish your goal, but AI is never meant to be your end product or your final product. You still need to come up with your own ideas and your innovations, and the final product should be your innovations not the AI itself. Okay, so let's move on to the last one here, low emotional impacts. Generating authentic emotional resonance in AI-generated films can be quite challenging. The technology may struggle to capture subtle human emotions, making it less effective at evoking strong emotional responses from viewers. These limitations can affect the overall impact and engagements of the content. All right, so just a quick reminder here, AI is not a human, guys, right? And AI will never be human. Therefore, it is just not realistic for us to expect AI to have a human-like uh, emotions, right? Okay, so those are three limitations that you need to be aware of. Okay, guys, so I think that's it. That's all you need to know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. 
Hello guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, I'm going to share several brilliant film ideas that you might want to consider to make. Okay, so you might be very excited to create your first film using AI technologies, but you have completely no idea what film to make. Well, let me give you some of these ideas, so hopefully you guys can use this as your inspirations, right? So let's talk about the first one here, science fiction adventure. So you can consider to create a futuristic science fiction film where an AI-powered protagonist embarks on a journey to unravel the mystery of a high-tech society. Sounds very interesting, right? So, you guys can go to websites like IMDB, like this, and just type in science fictions and you're going to see a lot of, you know, new inspirations for you. So just type in science fictions like this, sci-fi, just click on that category and then you're going to be taken to this page. There are lots of ideas and inspirations here on these websites, right? Yeah, you might want to spend a couple minutes on these websites to get a new idea, to get a new inspirations. Let's uh, move on to the second one here, the second idea. Historical reenactment. So, if you have always been interested and passionate about history, well, this might be the best options for you guys. Well, to be honest with you, I've always been interested and passionate too about history. So yeah, I might consider these options, right? So you should consider to create a historical drama that uses AI to recreate pivotal moments in history, providing a visually immersive experience for viewers. So yeah, guys, just go to uh, IMDB websites and then just type in history, right? Just uh, go to that category and then you're going to find a lot of new ideas, right? So just type in history like this and just click on it okay so as you guys can see there are a lot of uh, films in this category right so you can use um, all of these as your ideas or your inspirations okay so let's go back to the slide the third idea is for people who have a lot of imaginations especially people who are interested in time travel right so yeah you should consider to create a film about a time traveling epic where characters use AI technology to visit different historical eras, uncovering secrets, and facing challenges throughout history. Sounds very exciting. Alright, so if you go to IMDB and just type in time travel like this, and just hit enter, you will see you know several different movies about time travel, and you might want to watch these movies first, or you might want to just read this hypnosis and Use this as your ideas or your inspirations, right? And let's talk about the next one here. Alien Encounter. So for those of you who might be wondering what life looks like in the outer space, this might be the best options for you guys. Okay, so you should consider to create a science fiction film where AI-generated extraterrestrials being make contact with Earth, exploring themes of communications, cooperations, and understandings. Just go to... IMDB and just type in alien guys. I'm pretty sure there are lots of them, right? Just type in aliens and hit enter. There are lots of movies about aliens that you might want to use as your inspirations, right? And the next one here is education. Especially if you're a teacher, you're educators, you want to create online course, then here's the idea. You can create an educational film that employs AI-generated animations to explain complex scientific concepts or historical events in an engaging and accessible way, right? So I'm pretty sure by doing this, you'll be able to get more attentions from your students, get more attentions from your audience, right? Because you're presenting the material in a creative way. And let's move on to the last one, uh, which is my most favorite one, mystery, right? So you should consider to create a film about a suspenseful murder mystery where an AI detective solves a complex crime using advanced technology and investigates skills right so just go to imdb and just type in mystery like this there are a lot of movies about mysteries right so you might want to explore all of these options and maybe come up with your own ideas your own innovations okay guys so those are six film ideas that you might want to consider to make um i think that's it i'll see you guys in the next video Hello guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to start our first project. So we're going to use our first AI text to film generator tool, uh, which is Vice AI. So just go to slide four guys and then click on this link. All right, just click on it and it will take you to this page. As you guys can see, right now we are on Vice 
AI. So I'm going to assume that you haven't created your account yet. So I'm going to guide you step by step on how to sign up. So just click on login, all right? And as you guys can see, you have two different options. The first one is to set up using your Gmail account. And the second one here is to sign up manually by entering your email address and your password manually. So I'm going to go with the first options, um, continue with Google. So I'm just going to click on it. All right, as you guys can see, now we are being redirected to this page and I'm going to pick the email address that I want to be registered on this platform. So I'm going to click on it. All right, so here we go. So we have like three options. The first one is to create films. The second one is to create stories. And the third one is to create voices, All right? And if you see up here, if you are on a free account, you get up to 60 credits, All right? So that's good. We have 60 credits here. So we're going to click on this first options because this course is going to be focusing on how to create films using AI. So just click on it, All right? And then we're going to be taken to this page. To create a new film, it's very easy. Just click on this. All right, so here we go. All you need to do is to type in the title of your film and then type in the descriptions of your film. And for the style, you can also uh, choose the style. There are like many different styles like abstract, cinematic, re realistic, comic, anime, what else? Hand painted, old photographics, electronic fantasy, retro, hard writing, disco, sci fi, Japanese, video games. So there are like many different styles, right? For the aspect ratios, uh, it really depends on where you want to upload your film content. So for example, if you want to upload your uh, film content on TikTok or maybe YouTube short, then go with the second options, nine by 16. However, if you want to upload your uh, film content on YouTube, just like the regular YouTube, then go with the third option, 16 by nine, all right? So it's totally up to you. You can also turn on the subtitle if you want to have subtitle, but I don't think I want it, so I'm going to turn that off. You can also turn on the voice. If you don't want to have voice, then turn this off, right? And then just click generate film. Very easy, very straightforward, right? So yeah, guys, that's how you uh, utilize this tool to generate a film using AI. Well, that sounds very exciting, right? And lastly, you might be wondering like, hey, for the free account, we got 60 credits. So how many minutes or how many seconds the durations of the film is going to be? Let me answer that question. So if you go to Vice homepage, right? So just go to homepage, just go to homepage and then scroll down. All right, just scroll down. As you guys can see here, for the free account, we got 60 credits per month. So it will be renewed every month. And on the left side, as you guys can read here, so one credit is equivalent to one second of video. And one credit is also equivalent to 10 seconds of voices, right? And one credit is also equivalent to 1000 characters of stories. So yeah, that's like the conversion unit. Okay, so you can do like your own calculations. So when we have 60 credits, it means that we're able to generate a 60 seconds or a minute video. That's what it means. So hey guys, uh, I think that's it. That's all you need to know. I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to learn how to generate a film using Vice AI. So I'll see you guys there. Hello guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, I'm going to guide you step by step on how to generate your first film using Vice AI, all right? So this is the first AI text to film generator tool that we're going to use. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is to click on create new film. All right, so now we're going to use ChatGPT to give us some ideas, all right? So let's go to chat GPT and I'm going to type in something like this. I want to create a short film. Generate me 10 ideas. All right, so let's hit generate. And as you guys can see now, chat GPT is generating us 10 ideas for our short film. So the first one is the time capsule. The second one is the forgotten songs. The third one is the last love. The third one, the fourth one is the lost connections. The fifth one is the painter's perspective. The ID number six, the time traveler's journal. The ID number seven, the libraries of dream. The ID number eight, the sound of silence. The ID number nine, the messenger. And the ID number 10, the guardian of the forest. Okay, so let me take a close look at these ideas. Well, actually, I'm kind of interested in these two ideas. Uh, number 10, the guardians of the forest. And... 
Number seven, the library of dreams. Okay, so let me read. A librarian discovers an ancient magical library when books contain the dream and memories of the people who wrote them. As she delves into these books, she learns the intimate stories and secrets of her town's inhabitants. What about number 10? In a loose encanted forest, a young girl discovers a guardian spirit who is the last of its kind. Together, they must protect the forest from an impending ecological disasters caused by human greed. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with the f ID number 7, right? The Library of Dreams. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. So that's going to be like the title of the film. And for the descriptions, for the prompt, I'm going to copy and paste it. All right, so it's totally up to you guys, like whatever uh, film title, whatever uh, descriptions that you want to put here, right? In my case, I'm going to use this as an example, all right? So yeah, just copy and paste that here. Here we go. And for the style, we have several options. We have abstract, cinematic, realistic, uh, comic, anime, uh, hand-painted, old photographics, electronic fantasy, sci-fi, science fiction. Well, actually, um, I'm going to go with fantasy, right? Because I think this title, The Library of Dreams, fallen into this category, fantasy, right? And for the aspect ratio, we have three options, 1x1, one 9x16, one, and 16x9. So I'm planning to upload this content on YouTube, all right? So I'm going to go with the third options because that's the ideal size for regular YouTube videos, right? 16 by 9. But if you want to upload this film content on TikTok, then just go with 9 by 16, right? That's the ideal size for TikTok. Okay, so for the subtitle, I'm going to turn that off. For the voice, I'm going to turn that on, all right? And to generate our film, just click on this green button generate film so just click on it here we go so now ai is generating us the film well the process might take like a couple seconds or even minutes so just wait guys just wait patiently if the process is too long then i might just skip this part and i'm going to return as soon as the film is ready right because i don't want the video to be very long okay so now just wait all right guys as you guys can see the video or the short film is finally ready. It took a little bit longer than I expected. It took like a couple minutes. That's the reason why I decided to skip that part because I didn't want the video to be very long. And I experienced a problem. So it kept loading. It kept loading and I decided to refresh the page. And here we go, right? So if you experience the same problem, kept loading even after like three minutes or five minutes i really recommend you guys to try to refresh the page and i'm pretty sure it's going to solve the problem right away okay so now let's click on this play button and we'll see what the video look like step into a world of enchantment at our event where an extraordinary librarian okay here we go a mystical library immerse yourself in the captivating tales of our town's residents as their dreams and memories come alive within the pages Dis discover intimate stories hidden secrets well i think it's pretty cool considering that we automate and speed up this filmmaking process right we only enter these texts right these text descriptions as our prompt and then in less than like three minutes or less than five minutes we got this and maybe you're not satisfied with the quality of this short film well remember guys we are still in the early development stage right meaning that there are still a lot of uh, improvement that needs to be done on this technology that's the reason why we have a bright future right and lastly to download the video just click on these three dots and then click download very straightforward right okay so you might be wondering or you might have concerns regarding the durations of this film right well it's very short it's extremely short just like 20 seconds 30 seconds well don't worry guys in the next video we're going to learn how to use a uh, movie bot and in video and we're going to create films with longer durations all right so don't worry we'll get there i usually keep the best one for the last all right so i'll see you guys there hello guys welcome back in this video we're going to learn how to use the second AI text to film generator tool, which is MovieBot. So just go to slide four guys and then click on this link, all right? And it will take you to this page. Okay, so I want to remind you that you will not be able to open these applications on your laptop or your computer. Okay, so we're going to use 
our phone. So prepare your uh, Android or maybe iPhone to open these applications. So for the tutorial video, I'm going to show you the full step-by-step -step tutorials on how to use these uh, applications for my phones. So I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. So first of all, you have two options. Uh, the first one is to scan this barcode, right? And then download it. Or the second one is to go to your app store or your play store and then just type in moviebot and then download it, right? So I'm going to show you how. All right, so first of all, I'm going to switch to my phone first. So here is my phone, right? So I'm just going to go to play store and I'm going to type in moviebot like this. Here we go. So we have MovieBot AI. I want you to click install, right? So just install it. Okay, so now we are installing MovieBot AI. Again, you have two options. If you don't want to um, install it manually, you can just scan the barcode, right? Scan the barcode. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna go with the second options. All right, so now we are installing these applications to our phone. Uh, the process might take like a couple seconds. Um, usually it doesn't take too long, all right? It might take like a minute or or maybe two minutes it really depends on your internet connection stability all right okay so it seems that we're almost done okay 100 percent. here we go and the size of the file is actually not that big just 100 mb right okay so now um it is still loading okay cool it seems that we have successfully installed this application so let's uh, go to these applications. Okay, so now we are opening this app. All right, here we go. So just click on let's go, all right? So just click on this yellow button. Okay, then you need to enter your email address. So I'm going to type in my email address. Here we go. Okay, and I'm going to click submit, all right? So just click on this yellow button. Validating email. Okay, very cool. All right, so here we go. As you guys can see, you have like several options. Uh, generative roles, premium voices, um, 1080p export, longer movies, new frame size, remove watermark. Well, I'm not really interested, so I'm just going to close this. Okay, so now what we're going to do is to start exploring this dashboard, right? So making sure you are familiar with all features available on this MovieBot dashboard. So to create your movie, all you need to do is to type in the descriptions right here, okay? So just tell the AI what kind of movies or what kind of film that you want to make, all right? So just type in your descriptions here. And down here, you have um, characters options so you can select your own characters uh you so see you have like two characters uh you can pick any uh characters that you want look at this there are lots of options guys all right so yeah look at this amazing right you have a lot of options for the characters and then down here you have uh voices so just click on it you have like many different uh, voices, right? So if you are on the free account, unfortunately, you will not be able to access the premium one. So you're only able to access like the standard voices. But I think that's more than enough, guys. Look at this. There are like many different languages. Uh, you have English, you have uh, Spanish, you have English with British accent, with American accents. You have, you know, many other languages too, besides English, right? You have German, you have um, what else? many options here right okay so down here you have world so you can also set up your um world like it's kind of like metaverse to be honest look at this you have bedroom deserts uh neural light neural dark front yard uh, grassland so yeah you have many options here you can even create like your own um world right so it's totally up to you and down here, you have styles, so you can also set your styles, right? You have comedy, drama, uh, vlog, many options. And the last one here is the settings, right? So you can set the durations. You want it to be short, you want it to be medium, you want it to be long. It's totally up to you. But unfortunately, if you're on a free account, you're not able to generate a very long film, all right? Just, just keep that in mind. 
And for the frame size, you have like three options, uh, the square, uh, which is one by one, right? You also have uh, other options down here. So let me show you here. Okay, so you also have uh, portrait and landscape, right? Okay, so let me close this really quick. And the last one here is the resolutions, right? So for the resolutions, you have four options. The first one is 360p. The second option is 480p. The third one is 720p. And the fourth one is like the best one, the best quality, uh, 1080p. However, if you're in a free account, you are not able to export your video with this uh, highest resolutions, right? So yeah, my recommendation is to export this as 720p that's the best resolutions that you can get on the free account right and if you're on the free account unfortunately your video is going to have this watermark right so if you don't want to have watermark then you might want to just upgrade it to the paid plan okay so that's um the movie bot dashboard right so maybe you need to spend like a couple minutes trying to make yourself familiar with all these features and then once you're ready, let's move on to the next video where I'm going to guide you step by step on how to generate a film using this tool. Alright, so I'll see you guys there. Hello guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, I'm going to guide you step by step on how to generate your first film using this AI tool, MovieBot.io. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is to click on generate, right? So just click on generate and on the story topic, you can type in whatever you want, right? So I'm going to type in like a random topic here. So maybe it's going to be like baby, um, baby hippo like this is asking for ice cream, right? Just very random stuff here. Baby hippo is asking for ice cream, okay? Or maybe I'm not. I'm going to replace the hippo with uh, different animals, right? So maybe it's going to be like baby monkey, or maybe not. Or maybe just like a little puppy like this. Little puppy is asking for ice cream. Here we go. For the characters, I'm looking for a dog, right? A puppy. I don't know if there is any puppy here. We'll see. Well, there is no puppy, unfortunately. So I'm going to change the character, right? So it seems that we have penguin here. So I'm going to change the puppy to a penguin, right? So a little penguin is asking for an ice cream. Okay, here we go. So we're going to have a penguin, right? So that's going to be the first character. For the second character, it's going to be a human, maybe just like a random human. So I'm going to pick um, this one. Maybe, maybe this one. I'm not sure, or maybe this one, Harold, all right. Okay, so uh, those are going to be like two characters involved in our uh, film for the voice. I'm just going to pick like a random voice, maybe uh, Brandon and Davis, maybe Brandon, right? For the world, I think it's going to be um, bedroom like this, or maybe not. It's going to be grassland like this, not really sure. Yeah, maybe it's going to be grassland like this. Okay, here we go. For the style, i um, going to pick comedy, right? Because I want the film to be funny, right? Comedy. For the durations, unfortunately, since I'm on a free account, so I don't have any choice. So I'm going to keep this short. For the frame size, it's going to be portrait. And for the resolutions, it's going to be 720p, right? So that's the best resolutions that you guys can get if you're on the free account. If you want to get uh, 1080p, then you need to upgrade it to the paid plan. Okay, so now I'm just going to click on this yellow button, Generate Movie. Here we go. Okay, cool. Now it is loading. If the process is too long, then I might just skip this part. Well, actually, it's done. Look at this, guys. Very cool, right? Very cool. This penguin and this human. 
Very cool, right? It took us like less than 3 seconds and we got this. Amazing. Again, this is very short, right? The durations of this film is very short. So if you want to have like a longer uh, versions, longer durations, then you might want to consider to upgrade to the paid plan here. Okay, so now we are just exporting this uh, video. We are exporting this film. So yeah, the process might take like a couple minutes. Or maybe like a couple seconds, not even a minute, guys. So just wait. Alright, so just wait. Very cool. Alright, so I think we're almost done. Look at this. Alright, so we're almost we're almost done. Okay, so here we go. Look at his body movement. Looks very realistic, right? Okay, so if you want to share it, just click share like this, right? And then you'll be able to share it. Uh, you can also edit if you want to. It's totally up to you, but I'm pretty satisfied with the quality, so I'm not going to edit, right? So I'm going to click. Okay, guys, so we're done with this. That's how you generate film using MovieBot IO. Uh, very easy and very straightforward process, right? And if you want to create a new uh, film, just click new, right? And you're going to be redirected back to this page, right? So yeah, that's how you use it, guys. Very easy. And I'm pretty satisfied with the result, to be honest. So I'll see you guys in the next video, where we're going to learn how to use the third AI text-to-film generator tool, which is in video. AI. So I'll see you guys there. Hello guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we are going to learn how to use the third AI text to film generator. And the name of the tool is InVideo AI, right? So just go to slide 4 and then click on this link and it will take you to this page. As you guys can read, create videos with AI Copilot. So let's scroll down. This is just one of many examples of the video that you can create using um, this tool. Right, so as you guys can see, uh, turn any idea or content to video instantly. Alright, so I'm going to assume that you haven't created your account yet. So I'm going to guide you step by step on how to sign up, how to create your account here. And we're also going to explore the dashboard, right? Okay, so now just scroll back up and click on sign up, alright? As you guys can see, uh, you have two options. Uh, you can sign up using your gmail account or you can sign up manually by entering your email address manually it's totally up to you but i'm going to go with the first options all right so i'm going to click on join with google here we go and we're going to be redirected to this page and i'm going to pick the email that i want to be registered on this platform okay so here we go now i'm going to be redirected to this page all right so as you guys can see this is what the dashboard looks like. So all you need to do is to type in the topic of your film. Just describe how the film should be, right? And then click generate. That's it. Very easy, very straightforward. And there is a limit. So your uh, descriptions or your instructions cannot be more than 3000 characters, right? So that's the limit. And you can also choose like what kind of videos or what kind of film that you want to make. Maybe. Uh, for YouTube shorts or maybe for uh, YouTube explainer stuff like that. So just click on it. All right And if you click on this and then click on media library, uh, we haven't Added anything. So that's the reason why we have nothing here, right? We haven't created any project yet. So there's nothing here Okay, and if you go to home and then to create the video to create the film Just click on it. Just click on this and you're going to be redirected back to this page Okay guys, so that's how you use in video AI. So in the next video, I'm going to guide you step by step on how to generate our first film using this tool. So I'll see you guys there. Holy guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, I'm going to guide you step by step on how to generate your first film using in video AI. Alright, so I'm going to go to Jack GPT and we're going to ask GPT to generate us five ideas for science fiction's um, film, right? So I'm going to type in uh, generate me five ideas for science fiction's short film. 
here we go and now as you guys can see ChatGPT is generating us uh, five ideas for our short films the first one here is the memory implant the second one is the quantum echo and the third one is the android uprisings the fourth one is the parallel reality and the fifth one here is the alien encounter right so i think i'm kind of interested in the first one the memory implant but i'm also interested in the last one the fifth one right the alien encounter okay so let's read it so in a feature where memory implants are used to relieve and edit memories a man becomes obsessed with perfecting his own past however he soon discovers that altering his memories has unforeseen uh, consequences leading to a mind bending journey of self-discovery what about the last one here a group of astronauts on a deep space uh, mission stumbles upon an alien artifact that seems to hold the key to advanced technology and knowledge. As they investigate, they must decipher the artifact's uh, cryptic symbols and face the moral dilemma of whether to share this newfound power with Earth or keep it secret. Okay, so I guess I'm going to go with the fifth one here, the alien encounter. So I'm going to copy and paste this. All right, I'm going to copy and paste that here. Okay, and I'm going to click generate video. Okay, so as you guys can see now, um, it is processing. The process might take like a couple seconds or maybe a couple minutes. Not really sure. Well, it's not going to take uh, very long, so just wait, right? However, if the process is too long, then I might just uh, skip this part and I'm going to return it once uh, the video or once the film is done, right? Because I don't want the video to be very long. Okay, so here we go. Now it is preparing our uh, film content. Okay, so we need to answer uh, three of these questions. So the first one, audience, for the audience, um, there are like three options, uh, science fiction enthusiasts, uh, space explorers, or tech geek. So I think it's going to be the first one here, science fiction enthusiasts. And the second one here is the look and feel. You have three options, uh, epic, dark, or dramatic. So I'm going to choose uh, the third one, dramatic, right? It's totally up to you guys. And for the platform, uh, you have like three options of is this video intended to be posted on uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook, or LinkedIn? Well, I'm going to go with YouTube, all right? Because I want to upload this content, this film content on YouTube, potentially. So I'm going to click continue. Okay, so yeah. now it is processing. The process might take like maybe a couple minutes, right? So just wait. Okay, so currently we are still in 1%. So we need to wait, guys. Now it is generating the script. All right. Now it is planning the video scenes. Okay, this is like the first um, chapter or maybe the first scene, I guess. This is the second scene, the alien. Here, graphics. The third one here, uh, cracking the code. Okay, so we'll see. I'm very curious to know what the film looks like guys this is scene number five the weight of the decisions okay so i'm so excited right i cannot wait to see what our film looks like number six the silent artifact number seven the final equations and okay so the scene is ready it seems that the scene is ready okay very cool guys uh very long durations like two minutes Right, because if you remember when we generated the film using um, the previous two tools like um, voice and movie bot, we only got like 30 seconds, right? 20 or 30 seconds. But using these tool in video AI, we got um, 2 minutes and 24 seconds. Very cool, right? Okay, so just uh, hit this play button. In the silent expanse of the cosmos, uh, look at this. a deep mm. space mission took an unexpected turn. A group of intrepid astronauts Here we far go. from Look the at this, guys. orbit of Earth stumbled upon something extraordinary, an alien artifact. This wasn't just any artifact. It held the promise of advanced technology and knowledge, a treasure beyond our wall. Very cool, right? And to be honest with you, like among these three um, tools, Vice, MovieBot, and InVideo, this is my most favorite by far, guys. Okay, so if you might be wondering like how to download this, then click on export and then click on export video, right? It's going to automatically download this video, okay? And 
if you're not satisfied with the quality or the content of this film, you might want to regenerate this. Just, just click regenerate, all right? Very easy. Okay, guys, so that's how you generate a film using this AI tool uh, called invideo.io. This is my most favorite one by far, guys. And also, we get the longest durations using this uh, AI tool, right? We got like 2 minutes and 34 seconds. And that's pretty cool because we're on the free account, right? We don't spend any money on this tool. So definitely 2 minutes is very cool in my opinion. Okay guys, so that's how you use it. I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to begin our second project, right? So we're going to learn how to use Nolan AI to generate a film script for us. So I'll see you guys there. Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to start our second project. So we're going to learn how to generate a film script automatically using Nolan AI. Okay, so let's click on this link and it's going to take you to this page, all right? As you guys can read, free script writing software, right? So I'm going to assume that you haven't created your account yet. So let's get started, guys. Just click on login and you're going to be redirected to this page. As you guys can see, we have three options, right? So the first one here is to log in using your Gmail account. The second one is to log in using your Facebook account. And the third one here is to log in manually by entering your email address and your password manually. Well, I'm going to go with the first option. So I'm going to click on continue with Google, right? So here we go. And I'm going to pick the email address that I want to be registered on this platform. Here we go. And I'm going to be redirected to this page, right? Okay, so as you guys can see, there is nothing here because we haven't created anything. We haven't created any project yet. That's the reason why we have nothing here, right? So to create your script, it's very easy, very straightforward process. So let me tell you how. All right, guys. So firstly, you might want to click on demos. And as you guys can see, uh, these are two examples of scripts film scripts generated using Nolan AI, right? So you might want to take a close look at these two examples so you guys know what you can expect from this AI tool, right? So let's get started. So if you want to generate your own film script, just click on create script. And as you guys can see, we have two options. The first option is a future film and the second one is video short. Well, since this course is focusing on uh, creating film, so we're going to go with the first options, right? So yeah, we need to enter the title, the synopsis, and also the genre, right? So we're going to use ChatGPT to do it. So I'm going to type in something like this. Generate me five film ideas. Well, actually, I'm kind of interested in history, though. So I'm going to type in uh, generate me five historical film ideas all right so we'll see i'm going to hit enter and okay as you guys can see chat gpt is generating us five different ideas the first one here is the silk road the second one is the renaissance painter secret the third one is the separate struggles the fourth one here is the samurai last stand and the fifth one is this space race okay so i think i'm kind of interested in idea number four the samurai less than so i'm going to copy and paste the title right i'm going to copy and paste that here and for the hypnosis i'm just going to copy and paste this descriptions we're going to use this descriptions as the hypnosis here we go and for the genre since this is related to history so i'm going to uh, choose history so here we go okay well, actually, you can choose more than one genre, right? So not only history, we're also going to add like actions and adventure, right? All right, so yeah, three genre, history, actions, and adventure. And down here, you also have another options to upload your PDF file or your FDX file. So if you have your title and synopsis inside your PDF file, you can feel free to upload your PDF file here, all right? So I'm just going to click Submit. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so now I'm going to click submit, guys. As you guys can read, Nolan AI is working, so please wait. It's not going to be very long, so just wait, guys. It might take like a couple of seconds. Trust me, it's not going to be very long. All right, very cool. Now our film script is ready. 
that's very cool right because it only took us like less than 15 seconds or even less than 10 seconds to generate this film script very cool so yeah um this is our film script you can feel free to modify this you can feel free to edit this right and if you go to the left side of the screens we have uh, scenes and characters so if you go to characters uh, you can feel free to create characters right so to create characters, just click on this button, create characters, uh, you can name your characters and then describe your characters and then click generate characters. So I'm going to give you an example here, right? So let's say you want to create a characters. So I'm going to use ChatGPT to generate me one character as an example. So I'm going to copy and paste this and I'm going to tell ChatGPT to generate me one character. Please generate me one character for this film right alongside with its descriptions okay so as you guys can see now chat gpt is generating us the character right uh, the name is kaito takashi this is definitely a japanese name right so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here here we go and i'm also going to copy and paste this descriptions obviously right I'm going to put it here and I'm going to click on generate character. All right. So here we go. So now we're going to generate this character and he is going to be added to this film script. That's the cool feature about uh, this platform, right? Okay. So the generating process might take like a couple seconds. So just wait guys. Okay. Look at this. This is the character info. And if you want to generate his image, click on this button, right? So now we're going to generate the image for this character for Kaito Takashi, right? This Japanese samurai. Okay, look at this. Very cool, right? And don't forget to hit save character because if you don't save it, then most likely you're going to lose it, right? So don't forget to hit save character, right? Okay, so now the character has been saved, right? So if you see here on the left side of the screen, this name Kaito Takashi has been added all right and it's also automatically added to the scene well let's move on to the next one here uh create scene all right so to create a new scene just click on create scene like this and then feel free to add uh, your scene descriptions here and then click create scene and then your scene is going to be added automatically to this uh script all right so if you want to download this script, it's very easy. Just click download like this, all right? Click download and you can download these as either PDF or FDX, right? It's very easy, very straightforward. And this is what your uh, film script looks like right now. Okay, so hello guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to enter the third project. So in the third project, we're going to learn how to utilize AI tools to generate storyboards. So before getting into the project, I'm going to introduce you to Storyboard first. Okay, so for those of you who are already familiar with Storyboard, feel free to skip this video. However, if you are new and you want to learn more about Storyboard, stay in this video and pay very close attention. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is to ask yourself this question, what is Storyboard? Well, a Storyboard is a visual representation of a film, video, or animation project. It consists of a series of illustrated or annotated panels that outline each shot or scene in the project, along with accompanying notes or descriptions. Storyboards serve as a planning tool helping filmmakers to map out the sequence of events, camera angles, and visual elements before actual productions begins. All right. So let me give you an example of what Storyboard looks like. So if you go to Google and just type in Storyboard, look at this. For example right this is, is one of many examples of storyboard or maybe this one look at this looks kind of cool right so yeah those are like a couple examples of uh, storyboards and let's go back to the slide and let's talk about the use cases of storyboard well storyboard has many different use cases however in this slide i'm just going to highlight five most common use cases of storyboard so let's get started the first one here is film and video productions. So storyboards are extensively used in the film and video industry to plan and visualize scenes, camera angles, and sequences before shooting begins. 
They help directors, cinematographers, and production teams ensure a cohesive and efficient shoot. Okay, so that's the first one. Let's talk about the second one here, animations productions. So storyboarding is a crucial in animation to outline the keyframes and sequences of an animation project. It aids animators in creating smooth and coherent animations by providing a clear visual roadmap. The third one here is advertising and marketing. So storyboards are employed to plan and visualize advertisements, commercials, and promotional videos. They help marketing teams convey their ideas and messages effectively to clients and collaborators. Let's talk about the fourth one, training and education. So storyboards are used in educational and training materials such as e-learning courses and instructional videos to structure content, design visuals, and ensure clarity in conveying information to learners. And the last one here is game development. So in the world of video game development, storyboards are employed to outline gameplay sequences character movements and interactive elements, providing a blueprint for game designers and developers, all right? So those are five uh, most common used cases of storyboard. However, in this course, we're going to be concentrating on the first one, right? Because this course is all about film. So we're going to be focusing on the first one, film and video pr productions, right? So yeah, guys, uh, I think that's it. That's all you need to know. I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to learn how to generate a storyboard using ai so we're going to use these two ai tools right um those are storyboard dead and croc io okay so the concept is very similar to the previous tools that we use so all you need to do is to type in what you want right just describe what you want and then click generate and then ai is going to automatically generate you the storyboard that you want that's how it works. Very easy, very straightforward process. Okay, so I think that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to start our third project, all right? So we're going to learn how to generate a storyboard using AI tools. And in this video, we're going to use the first AI tool. The name of the tool is Storyboard Dead, all right? So just go to slide four and then click on this link and it's going to take you here. Okay, so as you guys can read, uh, digital storytelling, powerful visual communications made easy. Okay, so if you scroll down here, you might want to spend a couple minutes reading all these descriptions so you understand better about this platform. Okay, so now I'm going to assume that you haven't created your account yet. So I'm going to click register, right? So we're going to create our account here. As you guys can see, we have... Um, four different options well actually five different options to sign up you can uh, sign up using your gmail account you can sign up using clever you can sign up using microsoft you can sign up using classlink and you can sign up manually by entering your email address and your password manually however i'm gonna go with the first option so i'm going to click on sign in with google and i'm going to check this box i have read and understand the terms and conditions and privacy policies all right so if you have time make sure that you read this so you understand their terms and conditions as well as their privacy policies all right so now i'm just going to click sign in with google here we go okay so as you guys can see um being redirected to this page so i'm going to pick the email address that i want to be registered on this platform all right so here we go to create your storyboard, it's very easy, very straightforward. Just click on this button, all right? Just click on create a storyboard. Here we go. Okay, so as you guys can see, we are being redirected to this editing page. And please wait, all right? So just wait, it might take like a couple seconds. While waiting, as you guys can see here, we have like many different customizable templates that you guys can use. Sounds very exciting, right? So yeah, we can simply just pick any template that we want and just modify it. Okay, so first of all, you need to give your storyboard a title, right? So I'm gonna go with Ancient History, I guess. Ancient History, all right? You can feel free to give any title that you want. And I'm going to click Continue. Okay, so...
as you guys can see, um, it takes a while to load, but it might be due to my internet connections that's not very stable. As you guys can see, we have many different customizable templates available for you to use. For example, right now we are on the town sections, right? You can also go to entertainment. Look at this, we have many different uh, places. You can go to home indoor, you can go to home outdoor, uh, maybe school, sport. Look at this, you have this baseball field, uh, basketball field, you have soccer field. You can also go to transportations, like many different templates. Look at this, amazing, right? You can also go to work. Uh, look at these office, rooms, uh, what else? Classical homes, uh, not many options. If you go to historical places, there are many options too here. Look at these, we have this beautiful castle. We have this uh, ancient building, very cool, right? You can also go to US history sections. Uh, you're going to see a lot of templates related to uh, US history. Unfortunately, it's still loading, guys. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long, all right? Well, it usually doesn't take too long because, you know, my internet connection is not very stable. Okay, so look at this. We have many different options. Uh, you can also go to country and music. Uh, what else? Outdoor. And so many more, right? Mythical and futuristic. Look at this. We have many options, all right? You might be wondering, like, how to add this template to our canvas. Well, it's very easy. So let's say we want to pick uh, this one entertainment right or maybe not maybe u.s history or historical right because i want these to be aligned with our storyboard title right so let's say we want to pick this castle so just drag and drop this okay look at this guys so i've just added this to my canvas right and you can also go to the character uh, sections you have uh, many different options for the character for example i want to pick this guy so i'm going to grab him and then put it put him here right Okay, so as you guys can read, please wait. So when you add characters to your uh, storyboard, you will need to customize it, right? You will need to um, modify his appearance. For example, you can modify his head to be like this, or maybe you can also add a beard like this, but I don't think it's good. Well, maybe I'm going to go with this um, look. You can also change um, his point of view. For example, you want to uh, see him standing from the back like this. It's totally up to you, right? You can also change his colors here, right? You can change his uh, skin colors. You can change his eyes colors, his shirt. Maybe you want to be blue like this. You can change his jacket color. Maybe you want it to be dark blue or... Yeah, just customize it however you want, guys. You can also change his arm, your his beard, what else, his leg. So it's totally up to you, right? You can even like randomize the colors if you want to. So I'm going to click on update pose. All right, so here we go. And I'm going to make him a little bit shorter, right? So his body is proportional to the castle size. Here we go. All right, and I'm going to put him right here. Okay, very cool. And we also have items, so just in case if you need items, you can also add these items here, right? Uh, what else? Speech bubble. So when you have like conversations in your scene and you want to add like these um, speech bubbles, feel free to do it, right? Uh, you also have shapes here if you need the shapes, uh, infographics, right? But I don't think we need that. What else? You also have uh, web and wireframe science. So yeah, guys, it might be too overwhelming to explore like all of these features at once but the more you use it the more you're going to get used to it right so yeah guys i'm going to add a speech bubble for example i'm going to put it here so i'm just going to drag it here right and i'm going to make the size proportional to his body size maybe like this yep here we go okay so that's how you edit your storyboard and you can also click on this uh, icon right so this is going to be like your first uh, scene and then this is going to be your second scene let's say you want to add a uh, scene in like different place so let's say in, for the second scene you want to use uh, this building so just drag and drop it look at this right 
and for the third scene you want to use this as template just drag and drop it and then you're going to add another character here so maybe you want to add this man here so i'm just going to drag and drop him here all right and i'm going to make his uh size to be proportional with the castle size right and i'm going to drag this lady all right so here we go look at this very cool right and i'm going to make her size proportional to the horse size here we go okay so that's how you edit your storyboard manually and you might be wondering like hey you told me this is ai tool i expect to just type in you know some descriptions and then click generate and i'm going to get the storyboard that i want well that's going to be what we learned in the next video right so in the next video we're going to learn how to use a tool called croc io right so using croc io we'll be able to generate a storyboard automatically using ai that's what we're going to learn in the next video okay so to save it it's very easy just click save and exit right it's going to be automatically saved so yeah guys that's how you do it uh very easy very straightforward and you have many different templates that you guys can customize right so very cool i'll see you guys in the next video hello guys welcome back to the course in this video we're going to learn how to use croak io to generate storyboard right so just go to slide 4 guys and then click on this link croak.io and it's going to take you here right so this is the second tool that we're going to use to generate a storyboard using ai okay so it is free if you click on pricing look at this it is completely free so we're not going to spend money on this platform and if you click on product as you guys can see um croc io can be used to create storyboard so what i'm going to do now is to sign up all right so i'm going to assume that you haven't created your account yet so let's get started guys so i'm going to click try for free all right just click on it and as you guys can see you have two options the first option is to sign up using your gmail account the second option is to sign up manually by entering your name email address and your password manually well i'm gonna go with the first options right so i'm going to click on sign up with google and i'm going to be redirected uh, to this page as you guys can see here and i'm going to pick the email address that i want to be registered on this platform so i'm going to pick this email address and here we go very cool okay so as you guys can see now i'm being redirected to my dashboard and there's nothing here because we haven't created any project yet we haven't added anything and this is a brand new account right that's the reason why you see nothing here okay so the first thing that i need to do here is to give a name to my workspace right so i'm going to type in storyboard project right so feel free to name it whatever you want right so i'm going to click on create workspace here we go okay so now it is creating the workspace the process might take like a couple seconds so just wait okay here we go okay so as you guys can see now we are on this workspace the name of the workspace is storyboard project and since this is a new workspace we have just created this like a couple seconds ago so there's nothing here right we don't have any projects yet so i'm going to click on new project here we go and i'm going to name my project to be like this um project one right and maybe if you have deadline that you need to remember you can also uh click this add due date but again this is just a tutorial so i don't have any deadline so i'm not going to add anything here so i'm going to click create project here we go all right very cool so i've just created my project all right so if you go to uh project sections as you guys can see we have uh this one project but it's still loading guys all right it's still loading so just wait look at this we have this project one right the project that we just created all right so on the left side of the screen as you guys can see we have team so if you click on team right so you're the only one here right however if you're working in a team of two or maybe in a team of three then you might want to invite your friends or you might want to invite your uh, co-workers to be able to access this workspace right it's very easy all you need to do is to click on invite member right and then just type in the name and then the email and click invite 
all right and he or she is going to be able to access your workspace and make edit all right very easy very straightforward process okay so let's go back to the project sections and i want to show you like how to initialize your first project because we already created our project but uh, we haven't talked much about it so i want you to click on it all right so just click on it okay so here we go and you have two options the first one here is you can drag and drop files so if you already have your files from your local and then you want to just um, upload that file to this workspace then you can do it but the second option is the options that we're going to choose all right so we're going to create the storyboard from templates so i'm going to click on it and as you guys can see if you scroll down here you have several different options you have like explainer video storyboard cartoon series web design editorial short film music videos advertising video right but since in this video we're going to be concentrating on storyboard so i'm going to click on storyboard here we go and i'm going to click create from template all right okay as you guys can see now we have uh, these templates so let's click on it all right so just click on it and we're going to be redirected to these pages. here we go it's still loading i'm really sorry guys my internet connection seems kind of unstable to be honest so that's the reason why it takes a while okay so as you guys can see now we are on the editing page all right so yeah you have the options here you can either upload your file to this uh, workspace or the second one here is to uh, customize the template the existing templates that we have on this uh, platform right so you can click on start progress all right here we go and click add file if you want to upload your file however if you want to create your storyboard from scratch using ai then let's go back to our uh, workspace and then click on storyboard all right just click on it and click on create new frame or drag and drop your files all right so just click on it all right so as you guys can see you have like three options here the first one here is to add or to upload your own file from your local the second options is the one that we're going to use which is to use ai generations all right so we're going to use ai to generate us the content for our storyboard and the third one if you are very creative persons and you like drawing then you might want to consider the third options where you're going to draw manually right so it's totally up to you like whatever options that you want but in this tutorial video i'm going to show you how to use the second options right ai generate so i'm going to click on it as you guys can see here uh, we can pick the style so we have like many different styles it can be like this pencil anime what else watercolor uh, vector art 3d render colored pencils photorealistic custom so there are like many different options guys right and as you guys can see because we are on the free account so we only have uh, 10 credits right but it is more than enough right so every single scene that you generate will cost you one credit all right so when you have 10 credit it basically means that you are able to generate uh, 10 scenes right so yeah that's how you do it guys very easy very straightforward right and let's say if you want to draw it right so just click draw like this and this is like the editing page so you can grab your pencil and then you can draw man manually right you can draw manually but i'm not very creative persons and i don't have a good drawing skill so i don't want to go with the third options because it will look kind of weird so i'm going to go with the second options guys um so for the tutorial i'm going to utilize the ai okay so i think that's it guys that's all you need to know i'll see you guys in the next video where i'm going to guide you step by step on how to generate your first storyboard using this tool um croc.io right so i'll see you guys there hello guys welcome back to the course in this video we're going to learn how to generate your storyboard using croc.io right so as you guys can see right now i'm on my croc.io workspace so i'm going to click on storyboard right so i'm going to click on it and it's going to redirect me to this editing page okay so first of all i'm going to go to chat gpt and i'm going to ask chat gpt for ideas right because i have no idea what kind of storyboard that i want to make so i'm going to type in something like this uh, generate me 
10 ideas for storyboard. Here we go. And as you guys can see now, ChatGPT is generating us the storyboard ideas. So we'll see which one that we like, all right? So we'll see. Okay, so number one here, the ID number one, we have Adventure Quest. Number two, we have Science Fiction Escape. Number three, we have Low Hope Across Time. Number four, we have Superhero Origin. Number five, we have Underwater Explorations. Number six, we have Dystopian Rebellions. Number seven, we have Musical Journey. Number eight, we have Historical Mystery. Number nine, we have Virtual Reality Adventures. And number 10, we have Post-Apocalyptic Survivals. Okay, so I'm kind of interested and number two, science fiction escape. So I guess I'm going to uh, copy and paste this, right? So let's click on AI generate because we want to uh, use AI to generate the content for our storyboard. But it's totally up to you. If you want to draw by yourself, then just go with the third options, right? But I'm not really good at drawing. So I'm going to go with the second options. Okay, so I'm going to click on AI generate. Here we go. As you guys can see, we need to pick the style. So we have several different options. We have pencil, we have anime, we have watercolor, we have factor art, we have 3D render, we have color, pencil, we have photorealistics and custom, All right? So feel free to pick any styles that you guys are interested in. But for this tutorial, I'm going to pick um, this one, color pencils, right? Because I'm kind of interested in this style. But again, you guys are free to pick whatever styles that you want, All right? And down here, I'm going to click on custom and I'm going to copy and paste these descriptions, right? So yeah, in a futuristic city, a character with unique powers escapes from a high-tech facility pursued by rentless android courts. They must navigate the city's neon-lit streets in rates to rate safety. All right, so I'm going to copy and paste this, all right? So here we go. As you guys can see, uh, there is a limit, so your descriptions needs to be less than a thousand characters, right? Okay, so now the next thing that we're going to do is to click generate frame, right? And every single time you generate frame, it will cost you like one credit. And remember, if you are on a free account, you get 10 credits, right? So you get 10 credits. So every single time you generate frame, this balance is going to be reduced, right? So I'm going to click on generate frame. Here we go. So now it is loading. Just wait, guys. The process might take like a couple seconds. So just wait. It's not going to take too long. So just wait, guys. Be patient. All right. If the process is too long, then I might just skip this part and I'm going to return once it is ready. All right. Because I don't want the video to be very long. Okay. As you guys can see, it is still loading. It is still buffering. All right. Very cool. Look at this. Very cool, right? Okay, I think this is going to be like the first scene, right? The first scene. Let's say you want to add the second scene, right? So I'm going to click on it. Just click on this, right? And let's click on it. And then you can click AI generate and then do the same exact thing, all right? As you guys can see now, our balance is only like nine credits, right? Because uh, we already used one. Okay, so let's say you want to try like different style. Maybe you want to try um, vector or, or maybe not. Maybe you want to try 3D render, right? And let's say you want to try like different uh, topics. So let's say we want to have this one, underwater exploration. So I'm going to copy and paste that descriptions down here. And I'm going to click generate frame. Okay, so as you guys can see now, it is generating the frame. So just wait, guys. It's not going to be very long. Just wait. It might take like a couple of seconds and we'll get what we want. All right, very cool. I think I'm pretty satisfied with the result. As you guys can see, it looks pretty cool. All right. Look at this. Very cool, right? I like it. Okay, so let's say you want to add another frame. Let's click on it and then click AI generate. And then this time you want to use like different style. Maybe you want to use photorealistic and then let's try like different topic. Maybe we want to use uh, this one. Post apocalyptic survival, right? So I'm going to copy and paste the descriptions. 
All right, I'm going to copy and paste the descriptions. I'm going to click custom and then paste it here and then click generate frame. Here we go. So yeah, guys, that's how you generate frame. So it's basically like AI text to image generations, right? So all you need to do is to type in the descriptions, like what you want and then click generate and in less than a couple seconds, you will get what you want. All right, very cool. Look at this. Very realistic, right? Look at this. I like it. So yeah, those are like three different scenes. So let's say you want to use this one, script AI. So just click on it. All right, so let's say we want to use like the same um, description. So I'm going to copy and paste that. I'm going to copy and paste that here. Okay, so let's say we want to have like five to 10 frames. And then for the language, we're going to use English, right? And we're going to click generate and then its generations will cost you like one token. And we only have seven tokens left, right? In our balance. So I'm going to click generate and we'll see what we're going to get. All right, so I think the process is going to be a little bit longer than uh, previously because we were generating like five to 10 um, scenes, right? So yeah, just wait guys, if the process is too long, I might just skip this part and I'm going to return once it is done, right? Okay, as you guys can see, we have like these following stories. So this is like the first uh, script for um, the first scene, at night, a fierce storm rages outside, lightning cracks, adding an airy uh, backdrop as the survivors fortify their sanctuary emotions brew, highlighting rain relationship. Okay, very cool. Let's say you want to add um, another image, right? So you can just use whatever style that you want. Maybe you want to use uh, watercolor this time. So just click generate frame, right? All right, so just wait guys. All right, here we go. Look at this, very cool, right? Okay, so I totally get it guys. Uh, this example that I'm showing here might not be very systematic. However, if you want to create like a real storyboard for your uh, animation projects or maybe for your film projects, uh, you need to make it very systematically, right? So as you guys can see, uh, we can change the view. So for example, if you want to see like the bigger picture of like all accumulated scenes, you can click on the table view, right? And you'll be able to see like all of these at once, right? You don't need to like move from one scene to another scene or maybe like this. However, as you guys can see, uh, these are not very systematic, right? Cause we just like use like a random um, style and random uh, topic for this scene. And then we use like random style and topic again for the scene. Cause the point of this video is to show you the example, like how to use it, right? But when you're creating your animation project or your film project, you need to make it very systematic, right? You need to be consistent. Like if you use, uh, let's say, a colored pencil uh, style for this first scene, for the second and third scene, you also need to use the same exact styling, right? Because otherwise, it doesn't look very consistent, right? Okay, so besides styling, you might also want to pay very close attention to the animatic view, right? Because you want to make sure that the transitions from one scene to another scene is smooth, right? So you can click on this fourth icon, animatic view, just click on it, all right? And you're going to be able to see like all your scene combined in uh, one short video, right? So you can see the transitions from one scene to another scene, making sure like its transition is smooth because it is very important when it comes to your film project, right? So yeah, guys, that's how you use this Croc IO tool. Very easy, very straightforward. Once again, I really apologize if this example uh, doesn't seem to be very systematic because the point here is to show you how to use it, right? But if you are 
like building your own uh, project, your own storyboard project, you need to make sure that you choose the same uh, style for each scene, right? Because you want to be consistent. Okay, guys, I think that's it. That's all you need to know. I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to start our fourth project. So I'll see you guys there. Hello, guys. Welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to start our fourth project. So we're going to learn how to create 3D animations videos or 3D animation film using AI tool called Deep Motions. All right. So just go to slide four, guys, and then click on this link, and it's going to take you here. All right. So I'm going to assume that you haven't created your account yet. So I'm going to guide you step by step on how to sign up here. So just click sign up. All right. Just click sign up, and then you will need to enter your first name, your last name, your email address, and also your company if you have one. But if you don't have uh, any company, don't worry. Just you know, type in your name there. It's going to be fine and you also need to answer like these questions all right and you need to verify that you're a human and then click get started and then you're going to get a verifications sent to your email and then you will need to verify your account all right okay so now i'm just going to sign in because i already have my account here so i'm going to click sign in all right and i'm going to um type in my email right and also my password And I'm going to click sign in. All right. Okay, so I'm going to click go to portal. All right. And as you guys can see, I'm being redirected to this editing page. So I'm going to explain all features available on this um, editing page. All right. So as you guys can see, we have like four main products. Uh, the first one is animate 3d the second one is body tracking the third one is vr tracking vr stands for virtual reality and option number four is a uh, physics engine all right so let's say if you are involved in game development projects then you might want to utilize this tool because it's going to help you a lot okay but in this course in this video we're going to be focusing on the first one right animate 3d so I'm going to click on Animate 3D, right? And, and I'm going to click Get Started. You can also go to Dashboard if you want to, uh, to explore more, but I'm going to click Get Started. All right, so here we go. As you guys can read here, animation quality mostly depends on your input video. Please review the following capture guidelines before continuing. Right, so basically what we're going to do here is to upload a video and then the 3D object or the 3D character is going to imitate the movement in the video. All right, so make sure that the video aligns with these instructions. So the first one here, uh, no cartoon characters, right? The second one is um, no loose clothing, right? Just going to make the AI difficult to identify the movement in the video. And the third one here, no multiple persons, right? So the video only contains one person. The fourth one here is no object occlusions. Uh, number five, no solid colored clothing, right? So yeah, just make sure that your video lines with all these instructions. Okay, so just continue. I'm going to click skip. As you guys can see here, uh, we are going to upload our video here, right? And then the 3D object is going to imitate the movement from the video. That's how it works, right? Okay, so now the next thing that we're going to do here is to click 3D models because we're going to uh, create and design our uh, 3D models, right? 3D objects. So let's click on it, right? You're going to be redirected to this page. As you guys can see, it is still loading. But here, you are able to choose whichever uh, 3D avatars that you like, right? We have like many different options. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have like three available characters. So if you scroll down here, we have two options we have uh, stylized avatars and realistic avatars it's totally up to you like which one that you want to choose so let's say we want to explore this one first right so just click on it okay so now it is loading and i promise you guys you have a lot of options here right so just wait just wait and you're going to be amazed by the amount of options that you have here all right, so here we go. As you guys can see, we need to answer this question. So choose your body type. So we have uh, three options, uh, masculine, feminine, and done specified. 
All right, so for this example, I'm going to go with the first option, masculine. So I'm going to click on it. Okay, so as you guys can see, um, right here, we need to take a picture of ourselves, but I don't want to, so I'm going to click continue without photo, right? Okay, so now we're just going to pick the avatars that we want. Well, we have like many options, so I'm going to go with this one, right? I'm going to go with these options. I'm going to click next. Okay, so now we're going to see what our avatar looks like. We'll see. Alright, so just wait guys. It will not take too long, alright? Okay, so here we go. Very cool. So now we're able to customize his uh, clothes, right? So we can change his jacket, for example. I want him to wear this yellow jacket, right? So just uh, click on it and it's going to automatically change his uh, jacket right and i'm also going to add like a cool sneakers maybe uh, these green sneakers well actually no this is a soccer shoe so i'm going to change it to something like this maybe this is like more casual i guess right yeah very cool all right and i'm also going to add uh, maybe glasses like this or maybe beard maybe not i'm going to add glasses here Looks very cool. Look at this. I'm going to add these glasses. Okay, so once you're satisfied with these avatar, you can click next, right? And you can just uh, type in your email address, right? I'm going to type in my email address and then this model is going to be sent to my email, right? And I'm going to click send. Here we go. Well, actually, um, the email has been used, so I'm going to use like another email. Alright, and I'm going to click send. Okay, very cool. And we will need to name our character, so I'm going to name this as person A, alright? I don't have any specific name, so I'm just going to use this name, person A, alright? I'm going to click save. All right, and we're going to utilize this avatar in our video, right? We're going to use it in our video. All right, so it is loading. Just wait, guys. Okay, so as you guys can read, a new custom character has been successfully created. So I'm going to click OK, all right? And then we're going to create our 3D animations film in the next video right so i think that's it guys that's all you need to know i'll see you guys in the next video where i'm going to guide you step by step on how to use this 3d characters in our video right so if you are on the free account as you guys can see we are able to create up to three characters right so that's the limit okay so i think that's it i'll see you guys in the next video Hello guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, I'm going to guide you step by step on how to create a 3D animation video using deep motions, alright? So if you remember in the previous video, we already created this cool 3D avatar. So now in this video, we're going to learn step by step on how to animate this 3D object or this 3D avatar, alright? So the first thing that we're going to do is to click on create animation. So just click on this button, alright? And now I'm going to upload my video, right? So I have a very cool video, a person doing a backflip. So let me show you. All right, so I keep my video on desktop, right? Well, let me check. Yeah, I keep it on my desktop. So let me upload it. Here we go. I forget like what's the name of the file. So let me see. Okay, so this is the file. So I'm going to upload it, right? I'm going to click browse file and I'm going to scroll up. Here we go. So this is the video and you might be wondering like, where did I get this video? Well, actually you can go to Google and just type in like a free backflip video like that. And you'll see there are lots of free sources like Paxel is one of them. So you can get a free uh, copyright video from Paxels, right? And then you guys can use it for these animations, right? So I'm going to rename it. So I'm going to rename it as backflip uh, movement like this, all right? Well, it is too long, so I'm just going to make it a little bit shorter. 
All right, I'm going to click rename. All right, very cool. So now, as you guys can see, AI is analyzing the movement, right? So the duration is 18 seconds, or maybe if you round it up, it's 19 seconds. The size of the file is 8.8 .8, uh, MB, right? And this is like the dimensions. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is to scroll down a little bit. You have like many different filters that you can customize. For example, like physics filter, face tracking, right? If you want to turn that on, feel free to turn that on. Or maybe you only want to include the upper body only, then turn this on, but I want like the whole body, so I'm going to turn this off, right? Okay, so there are like many different things that you can customize here. All right, so now I'm going to click uh, Trim and Crop, right? And I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to click Create, right? Don't forget to enable the MP4 output, right? Because we want to download this video as MP4 file, right? So make sure that you turn this on. Uh, it is very important. And the next thing that we're going to do is to click Create, right? Here we go. Okay, so you might want to spend like a couple minutes uh, read all of these animation settings, right? And then once you're done, you can select like which um, type of file that you want, right? So we set this to be like MP4, but there are also like other options like FBX and GLB. So if you're familiar with 3D, uh, FBX is one of the most uh, common 3D file type, right? And I'm going to click start job. All right, so as you guys can see, uh, now it is processing, so we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but if it takes so long, then I'm going to skip this part and I'm going to return once the video is done, right? Because I don't want the video to be very long. Okay, so now it is creating the animations. Uh, currently we are at 5%. So yeah, guys, just wait. Please be patient, right? Now it is creating the animations, right? So I guess it might take like a couple minutes, like maybe three to five minutes that's my estimations so i think i'm going to skip this part right because i don't want the video to be very long and then i'm going to return as soon as the video is ready right so i'll see you guys there all right guys welcome back it took a little bit longer than i expected it took me like three or four minutes or maybe like five minutes so i decided to skip that part and finally it is done guys so as you guys can see here uh, just click OK, right? Just click OK, and then this is the video. Look at this. Very cool, right? These 3D characters that we created in the previous video uh, has been fully animated, right? So it simply just imitates um, the bat flip that this guy did, right? Look at this. Very cool, right? And guess what? By having the ability to create this kind of stuff, you will be able to create a 3D animation film very easily combining like many different scenes together right you just need to have a good editing skills but this is a good best that you need to have guys so if you want to download this video just click download all right very easy just click download and i want to download these as mp4 right because i want it to be like a video just like a regular video so make sure that you select mp4 because if you download these as glb or fbx or b um, it's going to be like 3d type file right because we want to download this as video so make sure that you select mp4 and then click download very easy and the total durations is 18 seconds or maybe 19 seconds if you round it up okay i think that's it that's all you need to know uh congratulations you have just created your first uh, 3d animation scene or 3d animation video so i'll see you guys in the next video holy guys welcome back to the course in the previous videos, you already learned how to generate film content using AI, you already learned how to write film script using AI, and you also learned how to create a storyboard using AI. So now, in this video, you're going to learn how to monetize your film content, right? So we're going to monetize our film content through these five or six business models. Okay, so the first business model is ad revenue from YouTube, right? So once your AI generated films are uploaded on YouTube, you can monetize them through ads. Enable Google AdSense and earn a share of the advertising revenue generated from ads displayed before or during your video. So you will need to apply to YouTube Partnership Program. 
However, before applying, you need to make sure that you're eligible, right? So to check your eligibility, just go to this website, guys. As you can see, we have like two options. Uh, the first one is to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand valid public watch hours in the last twelve months, and the second option is to have a thousand subscribers and ten million valid public short views in the last nineteen days or in the last three months, right? So yeah, make sure that you you satisfy these two requirements first before applying, right? Okay, so let's move on to the second business model, Patreon or membership platform. So you should consider to create a Patreon or similar membership platforms where fans can support your work by subscribing for exclusive content, early access, or other perks related to your AI-generated films. So the business model is very similar to Netflix. It is a subscription-based model, right? So for people to be able to access your premium content, they need to pay monthly or they need to pay weekly. So it's totally up to you. They can pay monthly, weekly, annually, or maybe daily. It's totally up to you, right? So yeah, they need to pay to access your content. That's how it works. Okay, so let's move on to the third business model. Uh, it's called selling merchandise, right? So you should consider to create merchandise related to your AI-generated film. For example, like posters, clothing, or collectibles. And you sell these items to your fans and to all people who are enthusiastic about your um, content, right? And it's going to be able to generate you additional revenue. And one of the best options is print on demand, right? So let's say you're creating a film about cartoon and then you're going to use the cartoon character as the design for the t-shirt and you're going to sell that t-shirt, right? Okay, so that's the third business model. Let's move on to the next one here, crowdfunding. So you should consider to use crowdfunding platform to raise funds for your AI film project. So let's say you are about to create your uh, first project and you need to have some cash and crowdfunding is one of the best options that you should consider to get the amount of money that you need to start your project, right? So you can offer exclusive perks such as early access or behind the scene content to makers in exchange for their financial support. Okay, so that's crowdfunding. Let's move on to the next one here. Licensing and distributions, right? So you can consider to license your AI generated film to distribution companies, uh, streaming platforms or television networks where you will be able to earn royalty fees or one-time licensing fees for your content, right? So like every single time someone use your film, they're going to pay you, right? So it's going to be a very sustainable passive income. Okay, so let's talk about the last one here, the last business model. It is called educational license. So you can consider to license your AI generated film to educational institutions, training programs, or e-learning platforms for use in courses and seminars related to uh, your niche, right? And this can provide you a steady stream of revenue too, all right? So this one's very similar to the previous one, licensing and distributions. However, uh, this is like more specific for educational purposes. Okay, guys, so those are six business models that you might want to consider. If you're asking me this question, hey, which one is your favorite? Well, I'm going to pick the first one, ad revenue from YouTube. Because YouTube is a big marketplace, guys. There are millions of hundred millions of people there and when you upload your content there you're going to get a lot of attentions from millions of people right so obviously it's like the easiest one to get a lot of views as long as you know like how to uh, create a compelling titles how to optimize your hashtag stuff like that as long as you know like those stuff you'll be able to rank well on youtube right so you guys, that's my most favorite. And I think that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hello guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, I'm going to summarize all things that we've learned so far in this course. And I'm also going to share a few tips and tricks on how to turn this AI generated film into a profitable side hustle, right? So I'm going to let you know that this video is actually going to be the last video in this course. So first of all, massive congratulations for completing the course. Congratulations for getting this far. I'm so proud of you and you should be proud of yourself too. 
Because there are lots of people out there who have the same goal as you, but they're not willing to take actions. And that's the reason why they're not getting anywhere. However, when you're taking actions, you're already getting a step closer to your goal. You're already getting a step ahead of all your competitors. So once again, congratulations for taking actions, guys. Alright, so let's get started. The first one here is to be creative, right? So AI technology has advanced very rapidly, guys, and it enables you to transform all your ideas that you haven't had into reality, including creating your dream film, right? So if I told you like a couple of years ago, hey, actually you can create film using AI, well, you won't believe that technology exists, but in this course, I've already shown you that this technology exists, right? So you need to be as creative as possible, you need to be as innovative as possible, and turn your imaginations into reality utilizing AI, all right? So yeah, that's the first one. Let's move on to the second one here. Build your audience, right? Before even thinking about monetizing your film content, your top priority or your first priority should be reaching as many people as possible, guys, because you want to get a lot of views, right? So you need to make sure there are lots of people out there who are excited to wait your film to be released. There are many different strategies that you guys can implement to reach uh, more audience. However, in my opinion, the most effective strategy is social media marketing, right? So you will need to create your account on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or maybe even Pinterest, and you post regularly about your film. Maybe you post your trailer or most interesting scene from your film. You post it there and get people excited, right? The more people excited, the better it is going to be, right? Because more people are excited for your film to be released, then obviously you're going to get a lot of views, right? Maybe it's going to be on YouTube or maybe on your own platform or maybe even on Netflix. So yeah. Make sure that you build your audience first. That should be your first priority before even thinking about monetizing your film content, right? Okay, so that's um, the second one. Let's move on to the third one here. Okay, so you need to remember guys, AI is simply just a tool, right? It's not the end product, it's not a final product. So AI is there to help you to automate and speed up your film production process. However, guys, you still need to come up with your own innovations. You still need to come up with your own brilliant ideas, right? You should never completely rely on AI. So that's another thing that you got to keep in mind, guys. I totally get it. Lots of you might be very excited with these AI technologies, right? However, it does not necessarily mean that you don't need to do any work. You still need to do a lot of work, guys. But in this case, you're going to be able to outsource a lot of your work to AI technologies so you can concentrate more on things that are actually relevant. For example, like promoting your film or thinking about uh, the storyline, right? And you can outsource the vast majority of your works to AI technologies, right? Which can save a lot of your time and money. So, hey guys, um, that's another thing that... You gotta keep in mind, all right? Never completely rely on AI technologies. Okay, so let's move on to uh, the next slide. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the course. It's been an honor and pleasure for me to be your instructor here on the Udemy. I wish you all the best. I wish you all nothing but the best in whatever goals that you want to do. Maybe you want to be a filmmaker, or maybe you want to create your own film and then post it on social media like YouTube or TikTok, or maybe you want to level up your content creation skills or whatever goal that you have i wish you all the best i wish you all nothing but the best and i really hope to see you again in my future course and guys if you have free time please leave reviews on the review sections so it can help me to better the quality of my future course right tell me what you like tell me what you don't like about the course so i can use those as reference right so once again, guys, wish you all the best and I really hope to see you again. Bye.